For spirometry, first enter the patient information, last name, first name, uh, age, gender, height, weight, and uh, if that's a pre-exercise, we enter pre-exercise. Then you put the handheld pneumotech with a filter to the subject. The long end of the filter should be into the mouth of the subject. And uh, you clip the nose. Then you click OK. And then you will have a one point baseline. The spirometry has three trials instead of like exercise testing. Each trial has three screens. First screen is preview, like what we have seen. After we see the breathing signals, we click start trial one and uh, you waited for a couple of breaths and uh, ask the subject to inhale big next breath so inhale big next breath and hold then space bar exhale as fast as you can keep going keep going keep going it's a little bit short only 1.6 seconds so we need to have and also probably did not inhale big enough because According to the prediction, should have 5 liter in FVC, and uh, this subject has only 3.41. So we'll save this one, but we'll try next one. Have to, after you, in, you inhale as big as you can, like, and the hold, then you exhale. Then you can bend your, your front, okay? So we'll save this one. Okay, now we are in tidal breath again. And uh, a couple of tidal breath. We'll start the testing. Again, after one or two tidal breath, you inhale big and hold. Okay, do that. Inhale in next inspiration. Okay. Exhale as fast as you can. Keep blowing, 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 keep blowing. Okay, you can suck in. Good. Wow, this is at least 83% instead of 69%. So you made your 4.12 in FVC. That's a good one. They say no more spirometry. So we'll let you relax for a second or two and then we'll do the third one. Are you ready for the third one? Take up again, and uh, you'll see the preview screen. Again, after you see one or two regular breaths, click Start Trial. And uh, after the next breath, inhale big and hold. Okay, exhale as fast as you can. Keep blowing, 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 keep didn't do it quite successfully. It seems that the, the acceleration kind of shrinked. It has a dent. Usually we will see a peak. So, but we saw some hesitating and they said probably no more, but acceleration also a little bit short. So we'll cancel this trial and do it one more time. Okay, in the preview, uh, start that. A couple of breaths, then in, inhale big, and uh, then exhale at once, all of them. So somewhere, inhale big. Okay, exhale, as oh, blow, 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 keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, push, push, push up, push up. Yeah. Okay, done. Beautiful. <coughs> Very sharp, straight. Okay, you can take it out now. Thank you, Mr. Owen. So that's a good inspiratory waveform. Very sharp, finish. And it didn't have a fold like last time. So three trials, and uh, we say in test. In test will display the best one, second the best the best and uh, 
if we click the all instead of best three, you'll see that the best trial actually happened in the second time instead of the third time. And the first trial was relatively low, has a FVC of 3.41. Second trial is 4.12, third trial is 4.08. Besides the FVC, forced vital capacity, FEV1 also is very important. That is the total volume you can breathe out within one second. And that's a good indicator of whether you've got abstraction or restriction. So it's 83% of the prediction. And uh, we'll say safe test. OK. Record saved. And uh, we can print.